Good afternoon. It's the 9th of May 2010 and the time is, Jay? It is quarter to five. Quarter to five. We're set out from home in Derbyshire this morning at 6am. We've driven all the way up to Fort William, had a couple of stops. We stopped for a beer at the Drovers. We've been and got some supplies from Fort William, from Morrison's. We pitched the tent and now we're going to walk into Fort Bill for a drink. Welcome back. We're still walking into Fort Bill. In fact, it's only been about 15 seconds since the last update. But we thought we'd just do another one. And we'll pan around ever so slightly. See Ben Nevis up there. Further down into Glen Nevis. And it's the uh, Glen Nevis campsite. Yeah, so the plan is, like I said before, we're going to get some beers now. Have some food, possibly at the Grog and Gruel. We'll see how we go. Relatively early night tonight, because tomorrow morning we've got the train at 7.42. So which means we're going to have to pitch the t or, sorry, pack the tent away, get all the gear together and then walk to the train station. We're going to get a taxi, but we thought we'd walk anyway, because you can never trust them. Then 7.42, the train into, Fort, into uh, Glasgow, sorry, and then the train to Morgai, and then set off on the West Island Way tomorrow. So we'll do another update in the bill later. Welcome along to, uh, well apparently it's called Cobbs Bar now, it used to be uh, Nevis Sports Bar where we came for this first beer, uh, the first time we did the, no, second time we did the way, come on, yeah, second time, so we thought we'd start here again because it's like the first pub you get to in Paul Williams, so uh, in front of mine have uh, Gold Amber, Largery Traditionally Ailey Flower Petaly thing, <laughs> it's nice, it's not nice. Morning. It's the 10th of May 2010. We just packed the tent away. It's what time is it today? About quarter to six in the morning? Yeah. Yeah. We've got to get a train in an hour and a half from Fort William. So all the gear's packed. The car is parked where it's going to stay for the next five or six days. And we're going to get walking. So another update from later. Good afternoon. Welcome to Mugai. It's uh, the 10th of May, 2010, and we're at Southwest Down the Way. So, bring on the pain, but keep away the rain. Let's roll now. Good afternoon, it's three o'clock. We set off from Mulgai about quarter past one. Down there, you can see the Glengoyne distillery and we're around about the five mile mark. You see Ben Lomond in the background and Conig, which is the uh, eventual camp point for tonight. The next stop is uh, Drimmon, so we'll catch you there. Good afternoon. We're just in Drimmon. We've had about a 10 minute break. We're just about to leave. We've been to the spa to get some, um, a couple of beers. <laughs> some stock for tomorrow. Just been sat on the benches there. Lovely evening, actually. So the plan is now, we're going to walk into the forest towards Conic, Conic Hill that is. And we're going to find a nice little place to pitch the bivvies, pitch the tarbs. Nice little fire, a couple of beers, some wayfarers, and some nice food. Good evening. You join me now. Uh, time or not, I've uh, completely made up. Now we're just uh, we're at this first camp point for the night. Uh, we're about roughly about a mile, mile, mile and a bit past Drummond. Uh, and we decided we've all had enough for today, so we're gonna we've found this lovely, crazy wild camp spot. Uh, there's there's too many places to choose from, really. Uh, camp so we've just decided on this so we can literally just get the camp up uh, 
and we're gonna there's tons of firewood so we're gonna make a fire get the dinners on the go have a beer maybe definitely, maybe. definitely yeah uh, <laughs> and then we're gonna get some good nanites man because we're tired good evening and welcome to our little shelter we've got going we've got a nice little fire going as you can see so this is um our location for camp one we're about how many miles out of Drimmon, would you reckon? About a mile and a half, mile. About mile a mile and a half. And uh, yeah, we're just going to chill out. We've got the the pot on the go there. We'll have some wayfarers, have some beers, yeah. and a bit of a chill out. Alright guys, uh, you join us again. <laughs> Why am I starting all the videos with you join us? <laughs> like people are tuning in. <laughs> uh, no, we're just, uh, we've just had we've had his dinner now. Nice it was, well, I had yeah, pasta. Nice. Beef stew and dumplings, you're nice. Beef stew and dumplings. Same here, yeah. Yeah, yeah beef stew? Yeah, man. So I haven't wasted my chicken pasta this early on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we've all gone for the beef stew. Quite a hearty oh. meal, that, mate. It's That's nice. the best one, yeah, I've nice. first. Shit. Uh, yeah, so we've just uh, got a nice fire on the go, got loads of wood, and uh, it is part of the looks. So we have to sit this far away, can't bear it any closer, and I'm red hot now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a good time, but a wicked day. Although painful. <laughs> uh, and we'd be, we've done 13 and a half today, we're going to aim to do, what, what do we say? We're about gonna, about 18 tomorrow, we're going to end up at Rao Shui Spothi, if that's how you pronounce it. But so that way it don't, don't matter if it rains on us tomorrow or anything, because we can dry everything inside the body. Tomorrow. Obviously we're going to get a fire going in there as well. Obviously. Uh, yeah, it's been an absolutely beautiful day today. I mean, I don't know whether you can see, but the sun's now set. The weather's been a little bit hit and miss. We've had a little bit of rain, but nothing too serious. Only like a light sprinkling. Yeah. So here's the little shelter we've got set up. We just made a little bit of a makeshift because it's not perfect, but it'll do. That'll keep us dry. Yeah. Keep we've just we're, we're basically just we're driven. It's about a mile or so that way, and we've come up into the forest, um, off towards like Conic Hillway, and we've just made the best one we could. So we're just going to chill by the fire. Right guys, we've obviously woke up, packed the camp away, extinguished the fire with the water that we made for the cooker's uh, wayfarer, wayfarers. Now we're just literally about to get on his way. Uh, we're going to walk five and a half miles to Balmaha, where we can well, there's like a toilet and uh, water, a place to fill his water back up. And then we're going to push on another 11 miles, is it? Probably another 11 or 12. 11 or 12. That's row So it's a fair old distance today. Should be there aiming to be the bottom by about 5, but probably more like 6, because we're slow. Welcome back. We set off from uh, our first bushcraft style sheltered camp. About ten past nine. It's now about an hour later. We've come out of the forest. Uh, if you look at the edge of the forest just there. That was, that was where we camped the first time, just right on the edge there. This camp's third time, obviously. This part was shot uh, the second time we came. It was rumoured to be shot this time because of the lambing season and stuff like that, but luckily enough, uh, the path seems to be open so far. So there's the mighty conic. We skirt across the northern side of that, you don't actually physically go over the top of it. Um, you're about 100 or so metres from the summit or whatever, the way it tracks across. And as soon as we get along the edge, some absolutely beautiful views north towards Ben Lomond, up towards um, Inveranen. So the eventual camp for tonight is Rauschwitz. I think that's how you pronounce it, Rauschwitz body. But the next stop will be Balmaha, where we'll um, get the water bottles filled up and put a bit of a freshen up in the amenities. Right, we'll keep you updated.
Good morning. It's now about 11.30, so it's taken us two hours and 15 minutes to get from our little camping point uh, in the forest just south of Connick to uh, Balmahar. It's about five miles, but obviously you've got to go up and over Connick, so that that uh, slows us down a bit, but we had a nice pace, we've not stopped all the way and it took us exactly the amount of time that we thought it was going to and we're stopping on the uh, benches again. So now it's time for a snack, time to air the feet, <laughs> time to go to the toilet block, all that sort of thing and uh, there's a nice little tap on the side of there and we'll fill up the bladders and possibly go to the little shop, that little tuck shop and get a can of coke and a sugar rush. Good afternoon. Welcome to Roar Denon Hotel. <laughs> We just had some dinner. We've done um, small master from Mama. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Anyway, you scratch the mileage. We'll put it on the bottom of the screen now. Well, you know you anyway, won't though, will you? I won't, probably not. This might even make it to YouTube. Yeah, probably not. Well, um, four more miles. Round Shwish, Bobby. That's the nice stop. It can't come soon enough. <laughs> I've got fucking belly ache. It's the dog a pasty. So basically, Dino bought a, uh, a pasty, well, a pie, which basically wouldn't have been fit to give to a dog. It's like a solid cardboard pastry round circle with a piece of pal in marabou jelly in the middle. You try to tell me that a pasty for 57p. 57p, a dog a pasty at one last night. <laughs> and uh, he's feeling like he's going to die. He also bought a uh, sandwich, a mayonnaise, kept it in his bag all day, so the mayonnaise went off and now he wants to die. And basically, uh... How are you feeling, Ray? Uh, I'd rather be dead to be honest with you really. I'm aching everywhere and I can't check it. I'm broken. I'm snapped. I've got to be honest, I'm feeling, I've never felt fresh yet. I feel uh, absolutely awesome. <laughs> I want to be here. I'm, I'm alright to be honest. I just got a bit of a belly ache. I just need to get over it. And then I'll be fine. No, I'm wet. Second day and I ache everywhere. Everywhere. Do you think if I kicked you it'd help? I can't. Should we just give it a try? This is my top speed. It's going to take me a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I've just sat down for some nindins and all seized up, but I think well, I've gone past seized. It's full on rigor mortis. Uh, Christ. Uh, Sucks ass. Well, basically, it's fucking. At the end of the day, it's night. Welcome to Rauschwitz Bobby. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a nice little Bobby. We stayed in a dozen or so other bodies. Um, yeah. Maintained by the MBA ourselves. But this one by far is probably the best stocked. I suppose it's fairly well used as well, people walking the West Island Way. In second place comes Minach Bobby. That's in between Carroll Station and Fort William, but for tonight, this is our home. So I think we're going to just relax for a minute, because we've only been here about five minutes. There's no one else here at the minute, but we welcome to chat with anyone else as they arrive. But we're going to get a fire going in a minute. And some munch. Welcome back to Rauschwitz, Bobby. Got a nice little fire going as you can see. Just a nice brew. Going to get some wayfarers down us. Another brew. Sit and watch the fire for a little bit longer and then nice night's sleep I think. Tomorrow's mission is first to Inversnade Hotel and then on to Inveranen. Possibly some dindins at the main glass campsite and then um, we might tarp there or we might tarp further on. But we'll keep you updated. Latest.